One question I'm getting a lot about the Viltrox 27mm f1.2 is, is it too big for the Fuji cameras? And this is kind of an interesting thing because these lenses, sort of all of these new lenses end up being, being released on Sony E-mount after they come out on X-mount. And it's a question we hear from Fuji shooters, but pretty much never hear from Sony shooters. And I think that's because there's a lot of Fuji shooters out there that do like the fact that the Fuji cameras are small. They like to put small lenses on them and be very compact and lightweight when they travel around and take their shots. And it is a focus when they are using their Fujifilm cameras. So I'm going to bring in a few different lenses here and give you a comparison of sort of the size and weight of this lens to other lenses that you might have or might be familiar with. And one thing I will say is from the time I took it out of the box, I definitely noticed the weight. It had this sort of weighty, high quality feel to it. But as far as the size goes, it didn't feel that much bigger or it felt similar size to a number of other Fujifilm lenses that I currently use. And the other thing I should say is I always use a detachable camera strap on my cameras. And because of that, the weight of the camera is just kind of sort of hanging down at my side. And certainly the weight of this lens and camera combination is nowhere near a burden. It's nowhere near most of my full frame setups. So I don't, I'm not a person that carries around with my hands. So if you carry it around in your hand, you might feel slightly different about it than I do. Uh, I've also found this really cool new detachable camera strap that actually is super quick to put on and off with these little magnets. It's kind of this crazy system that it just locks in like that and then you pull it out and you, you honestly would think that that would fall out, but it doesn't. It's in, sort of incredible anyways, and it's super cheap. So I'll put a link to that in the description down below. I think anybody who's worried about weight should probably just consider using a camera strap. Now, just for the sake of being totally absurd, I've got the Viltrox 27 millimeter F1.2 here, and I've got the Fujifilm 100 to 400 millimeter lens here. As you can see, this lens definitely is on the big side and probably too big in general to use on the Fujifilm cameras. You really need a grip. You often need a separate strap just going down to the base of the collar on this lens. This is a big lens. This is a lens that's probably too big, but just as you can see as a comparison, and this Fujifilm lens is about 1,400 and 65 grams or 51 ounces and the Viltrox 27 millimeter is 20 ounces. So, you know, it's about a third of the size. That's obviously a completely absurd example. But if we want to compare it to a lens that I think is very, very similar, I don't have one with me now, but the Fujifilm 16 to 80 F4 is a very popular lens. I think that lens is a little bit bigger in overall size, but weighs a little bit less. So, that lens is a 15 ounce or 440 gram lens. The Viltrox is a 20 ounce or 575 gram lens. I used that lens extensively in the past and I found that this lens to me felt very, very similar size, weight, handling on the camera. That lens is a little bit longer, which is gonna kind of put more weight in a sort of a leverage sense where this lens is a little bit shorter. So I think actually handling in use, they feel very, very similar. Now here is the Fujifilm uh, 10 to 24 next to the Viltrox 24 millimeter f1.2. As you can see, the Viltrox is a fair bit wider. Comparison on weight on that is 429 grams to 575 grams or 20 ounces to 15 ounces roughly. And once again, I don't find that these two lenses feel dramatically different to me when I've got them on the camera. Very similar handling. The other one, which is a very popular lens, is the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4. And I virtually never hear anybody saying that the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 is too big or too heavy. Once again, as you can see, it's a very, very similar size. In weight, it's uh, pretty similar again. It's 418 grams or 14 ounces versus uh, 575 grams and 20 ounces. So. It is definitely a lighter lens, but in total size, I wouldn't say it's like dramatically bigger. So carrying these two lenses around, particularly if you're using a camera strap, I don't think it's gonna make much difference to you. The other one that most people will have is the little kit lens, the uh, 18 to 55 kit lens, F2.8 to F4. This is 338 grams. This is a fantastic little lens. As you can see, it's starting to get more dramatic, the size difference there. Then that is a 30, 300, that is a 338 gram lens or 11 ounces to the 575 or 20 ounces of the Viltrox. So 
If you're comparing these two lenses, you are definitely going to notice a difference. So while it is a heavier lens, it is not a bigger lens and it never felt like a burden by any means. It still feels like a setup that is generally smaller than most of the full frame stuff that I use. I will also mention that I think with that little bit extra weight, it probably is a little bit more at home on the XT series or the XH series. And if you've got an X series or XS series or one of the smaller cameras, you might prefer to have a grip on it. Now I have been using it with my XS20. I found no problem. I don't have a grip on it. Once again, I said I use a camera strap, which that sort of just takes the weight off me and I'm really only sort of holding the camera in my hand when I'm shooting. So I think there probably is an advantage to me using it in that way. But ultimately, I don't think the lens is too big or too heavy for any of these cameras in general. And I think the little bit of extra weight is well worth it based on the results you're going to get. Now, if you haven't seen my full review of this lens, I've just thrown a video on screen now. This is my review of the lens. I've got a lot of details in there, including how this lens negates many of the advantages of full frame cameras over the Fuji X series of cameras.